Welcome to Changing the Currency with QuickBooks. This is Gilbert Owori from Media360. In this video, I'm going to take you through changing the currency from US dollars to Zimbabwe dollar. And I'm going to take you through opening an account in Zimbabwe dollar and US dollar. Then we shall transfer money from the best currency which will become the Zimbabwe dollar. QuickBooks ships with the US dollar and the pound as its default currencies. But not all businesses are located in those areas. So in this video, I'll show you how to change the currency from US dollar to Zimbabwe dollar. Okay, let's get started. To begin, go to edit, click on edit, click on preferences. When you reach the preferences tab, look for multiple currencies. Click on the multiple currencies. When you click on the multiple currency, you'll see two tabs at the top right. The first tab, My Preferences, refer to the preferences of the user, My Preferences, Me. Then these company preferences affect the whole company. These preferences affect the user. So in this tab, you can QuickBooks asks you whether you want to track multiple currencies in the company file. You click Yes, I want to use more than one currency. When you click on on that, QuickBooks will bring warning messages. Once you change it, you can't change it back. Once you once you select this currency, you won't be able to select one currency again. I'll click yes. After I've done that, I'll click on the drop down menu with the US dollar on it. Then I'll click view more currencies. When I click view more currencies, other currencies pop up. So I'll choose the Zimbabwe dollar. When I click on it, QuickBooks will ask, do you want to make it active? I'll say yes, make it active. It puts a warning. You're about to select a non-USD home currency as a Zimbabwe dollar. Do you, would you like to accept? Once you select the settings, it cannot be changed. Don't forget that. So we're going to set the Zimbabwe dollar as our home currency. So I click yes. So it's set here. It's showing Zimbabwe dollar. When I do that, I click OK here to accept changes, or I can cancel from here. So when I click OK, QuickBooks will have to close the company file so it can set it up with the Zim dollar as its main best currency. So I click OK. It takes a short while, closes the dialog box, and reloads the company. This is a sample. This is a sample company file. So I click OK. When I click OK, we can now see that our QuickBooks is set up in US dollars. Now we're going to set up an account in Zim dollar and set up another account in US dollars. So we go to chart of accounts here in the right hand corner, click on it. We click on this to maximize. As you can see here, 